Hey witches, this is Hectarios. Welcome back to the channel. And this is going to be your weekend tarot card reading for April 8th and 9th, 2017. So we're almost to the full moon. This is the last few days before the full moon. So, energy is reaching a culmination and a peak uh, point with that. Be sure to watch my full moon reading video once I get that posted. I'll probably get that done this weekend. So. It'll be uploaded soon. Now I align myself with the Most High God and the Holy Spirit, Hecate. Please communicate the truth to me through these cards so that I may be guided for the highest good of all. Thank you and so mote it be. Please give us your divine guidance for this weekend. Let us know what energies are around us and are present so that we can use them for our highest good and greatest success and joy. Thank you and so much be. here y'all so the first card that we have is the lover's card I'm sorry about the glare okay the lover's card is an energy of <laughs> the lover's card is the energy of making choices and decisions um, to me on that on the level of making choices and decisions I view the lover's card as more of an inner process like getting ready to make a choice or a decision by you know that process of gathering information gathering facts um that are relevant to that choice that needs to be made now the type of choice that the lover's card represents is you know very personal <clears throat> because with the judgment card you have a similar energy of decision making choices being made but the lover's card is more on a personal nature okay with this card you need to be asking yourself what are you attracted to uh what really pulls your soul or calls to your soul to your spirit to what um what appeals to your passions and your desires um, and find out what that is because that's going to be very important to this decision that is coming up and to this energy so this is a card uh, very much of self-knowledge and know thyself um, and also kind of you know it, this card's also connected to the divine okay because whenever we know what our true calling is 
that is a direct link to our divine self and to the most high to the divine spirit so there's some sort of important um, decision in that area um, either coming up this weekend or we will be preparing for it this weekend so make sure that you are in tune with yourself and take time to get in tune with yourself I think that a lot of people have been um, out of sync with their own self uh, because of a lot of things that have been going on in the world and in the energies so possibly you know take this weekend to do a lot of meditating and uh, just personal you know introspection and analysis um, and also to people change so maybe where you know what you thought was your uh, you know passions and your calling in the past it may very well have been but now things have changed um, life has gone on situations have changed you have changed and now there's something else that you need to, you know, analyze and, and come to these different uh, and deeper understandings of yourself, okay? So, that's important this weekend. The next card is the Two of Cups. So, this card, I think, is a perfect follow-up to the Lover's card. Okay. So, the Two of Cups is about relationships. Our relation to other people. Our relation to ourselves. Our relation to the divine and the spirit, the spiritual realm, the spirit, our relation to energies and forces, um, family and friends, lovers, business relationships, um, customers and clients relationships all kinds of relationships um, come up with this card and what is the main message here the main message with this card is okay you put the uh, lion here represents um, the carnal nature okay the fleshly lustful nature the egoic nature okay but you can see that um, it has wings the lion has wings because it has been ascended to a higher level okay these snakes entwined represent balance between these two people now this like I said this could represent a uh, two physical people coming together in that kind of relationship or it could just represent you know yourself your relationship to yourself okay either way these snakes entwining represents balance compromise okay and it's when we make an effort to balance energies and make compromises you know whether that's with ourself between our physical nature and our spirit for example, uh, between us and our deity, for example, okay, between you and God, for example, when we make an effort to make balance and compromises in those relations, you know, or if this is with another person, then it ascends the relationship to a higher level, okay, and that brings um, something more than the sum of its parts, okay? 
this is very esoteric and alchemical but it is a very also simple uh, or it can be simplified and um, <clears throat> powerful thing okay when you have two people or two entities coming together uh, in love okay love is about sacrifice and compromise if you really want to know and equal giving and receiving okay equal give and take from both parties involved so basically when two entities come together with this love energy um, instead of just being balanced out equal actually what it does is it creates something higher it creates something more okay I did an entire separate video on sexual alchemy that I recommend that y'all watch for a really intense breakdown of the two of cups energy okay but that's what this energy is so this is a perfect follow-up to the lovers card because this cards about knowing yourself knowing your spirit knowing what you know truly calls to you and pulls your heart okay and your mind your spirit and then this card is about uh, coming together with another force once you have that knowledge and creating something more from it. So there's a potential for new relationships. There's a potential for deeper levels in existing relationships. There's a potential for greater gnosis in your spiritual path. Okay. You know, one more thing that I want to say that this card represents is making sure that you are um, a proper component to this type of relationship. So, once again, it's a perfect follow-up to the lover's card because this is self-knowledge, okay? And then this is self-knowledge applied. This is you making sure that um, you're ready to be in this type of relationship, okay? By making sure that you are in tune with your higher self that you are putting love on a higher level than just ego and lust you're putting it on a spiritual level on a level of compromising and balancing out equal give and take and that you're staying like that you're holding that stance and that position so that you are ready for this new relationship to come in okay or for this deeper relationship, this deeper level of relationship to be available to you, okay? Which that only makes sense. The final card for this weekend is the Prince of Wands. Which I will say, once again, is a perfect follow-up card to the previous two because the Prince of Wands card is an energy of moving forward with a really strong you know self-assurance and feeling really grounded in your self and your foundation and how we can go forward very confidently when we have that energy so this is a card of ambitious action um, moving forward taking aim and then working towards it taking action towards it positive affirmative action towards it um, this card represents a soulmate connection is possible this card represents a um, love connection is possible or is coming for sure uh, and it's because of that energy of self-confidence of when you're self-confident in yourself and you just have a lot of that you become charismatic and magnetic to other people okay so this is a great energy to be in this can bring you a lot of success and not just 
success in romantic um, or social uh, friendship connections. This can bring you success in business and a lot of different areas. You, you'll, you'll, you'll be amazed when you have this kind of energy um, just emanating from yourself that pretty much anything that you get yourself involved with will have a lot of charisma um, and charm and magnetism and attractiveness to it okay so that's important and that's a, a really good card to have so when i'm looking at all these cards together it's like the lover's card is telling you do the inner work Start to apply it in how you present yourself and how you hold yourself, how you carry yourself, um, because that starts a process of attracting, you know, the right partner, whether if that's a person or a spiritual path type thing, um, just an energy. And then the Prince of Wands is telling us, you know, going forward with this Two of Cups energy. Uh, we become a magnet to the things that we desire. Okay. So this is a very powerful weekend. I see uh, this is a major shift um, from a lot of work that we've been doing. And I think that by the end of the weekend, we will have a lot of clarity um, with some things that we have been either avoiding analyzing or we have just been you know there's just been a lot of murkiness in our minds around these things with the lover's card energy so make sure that you do meditation and introspection this weekend and you know ask yourself some important questions um, ask yourself if certain things are still true for you or not ask yourself if you know you feel a certain kind of way or not anymore okay and see what happens see what you know really sit down and ask yourself those questions and then ask, uh, take the time to answer the, yourself from those questions and you will come to a more deep and profound clarity with these things and with these energies and that's going to help you to get into alignment with yourself and start carrying yourself um with what you truly believe and what you truly think and what you truly feel okay and it's when we're in alignment with our truth that we go forward with this prince of wands energy so there's a lot of success that can be had in many different areas of your life when you are aligned with your truth okay so I hope that you all use this energy and this advice wisely and um, productively. I hope that you have a great weekend and that there's a lot of success and prosperity and happiness and joy and all the good things that exist, okay? I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Hail to the witches and blessed be.